a spinal cord injury can disrupt the coordination between brain and bladder that makes it possible to urinate. The detrusor muscle that lines the bladder wall and the sphincter muscle that closes the exit from the bladder can both fail to operate normally. In addition, you may not sense when your bladder is full. When the functioning of your urinary system is affected by spinal cord injury, this condition is called neurogenic bladder. Everyone's situation is different and requires individual evaluation and management, but there are two basic kinds of problems people tend to experience. A higher level spinal cord injury may result in detrusor or sphincter muscles that are too tight and spastic. In this case, urine may be forced out of the bladder, causing an involuntary loss of urine, known as leaking or incontinence. The urine can also be forced back up the ureters to the kidneys, causing kidney damage. This type of neurogenic bladder is called a reflex or spastic bladder. A lower level injury may result in a loose, floppy bladder. In this case, the detrusor may fail to contract and the bladder will become too full. However, in this case, the outlet sphincter may also fail to work and urine can leak out, for example, when you strain to cough or sneeze. This type of neurogenic bladder is called a flaccid bladder.